So Adam Blunden Insurance Brokers are a local insurance broker providing a range of affordable products to meet a variety of insurance needs. They're based in South End, and ABIB tailor for personal insurances, including motor, household, and travel insurance, but also provide comprehensive service uh, uh, for a range of commercial clients. Andrew is the IT manager at Adam Blunden and uh, a bit of a champion for DocuWare within the company. So first of all, Andrew, thanks again for agreeing to share some insights with us. Thank you. Shall we, shall, shall, shall we start with asking, what were the challenges within Adam Blunden that DocuWare helped you with? So, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, so, yeah, my name's Andrew Jackson. I've, I've been working for Adam Blunden um, as IT manager for nearly 15 years now. So I've been there a very, very long time. Um, Around five or six years ago, um, we had uh, a desktop pay, desktop based aging um, document management system um, and it wasn't being developed anymore. It was called InView. Um, and at, back in 2015, we, we went out into the market with a tender um, for a document management system. One of our um, core uh, beliefs was that we wanted a system that was accessible from anywhere over a, a web browser or from a mobile device. Um, Obviously, we engaged with Rico. Um, we we did a big specification on what we wanted, um, and Rico um, suggested DocuWare as the solution. Um, Rico assisted us in implementing DocuWare, um, and we implemented it in Azure Cloud from day one. So it was a cloud-hosted system from day one, which for us already brought lots and lots of benefits. We didn't have to run any data center servers. Um, we immediately got cross-region backup, um, and we got a lot of the um, sort of low cost of ownership and security benefits of running a system in the cloud um, like many others. Um, the, the, the second big challenge that we had was we had to migrate at the time um, around 4 million customer insurance documents from our legacy system into DocuWare um, and thankfully the, the Rico technical team were able to actually come up with solutions to allow us to do that quite quickly. Um, so to, to get onto the new system was um, it was quite painless actually it, it went very very well. Um, yeah, hopefully that answers your initial question at least. Oh, definitely, thank you very much for that. So you mentioned some of the benefits in there about the DocuWare ring, but how else do you think the solutions benefited Adam London over the years? Oh, um, yeah, several folds. I mean, as as an insurance brokers, we currently, I mean, we we create around six thousand um, customer documents a day now, which are all stored in DocuWare. Um, and every person in the business who needs access to those documents can retrieve them very, very quickly. Um, that's particularly important in our customer service teams. Um, obviously, we've got call centres, we've got people that are ringing in um, to renew insurance um, renewals or to take out new business quotes. Um, and we need our customer service operatives to be able to actually view the history of that customer, um, their insurance schedules, the statement of facts um, quickly. And because we're able to operate DocuAir in the cloud, and the fact it's very, very quick, um, it means we're able to serve our customers. As soon as you ring in, they put a customer number into DocuAir, and immediately that entire customer's history, their email inquiries, the documents that we've sent them, any post correspondence they've sent us, it's all just there um, in a nice, easy to view format. Wonderful. So, so it's really the benefits of speed, accuracy, and being able to find everything in the right place, and probably on the back end of that, that audibility and compliance areas. Fantastic. Thanks, Andrew. Now, obviously, you've been working uh, specifically in the sort of financial services insurance sector, but can you see how this could transfer to other organisations and other sectors out there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, DocuA is very configurable. Um, I'm going to do a short demo in a few moments, but. Uh, in terms of configuring DocuWare, you can build the storage cabinets that you're going to see in a moment um, exactly tailored to your industry. So you'll see in a moment a lot of the storage cabinets we built include customer number, customer name, um, policy number, um, insurer, product name. Those, those, you know, those are some of the things we need to store our documents, that metadata, um, so we can retrieve it. But because you can design a cabinet with any number of fields, yeah, it really does apply to anything from sales to finance to HR or any other line of business or application that you might need to work with. Oh, fantastic. So thanks for those insights, Andrew. Um, hopefully some of our audience can see parallels within their own organizations. Now, you've uh, you very kindly agreed to show us a little bit of how you use DocuWare within the environment. Uh, your live demo is always scary, so good luck. But uh, <laughs> thank you very much, I'll hand over to yourself. No problem. 
Okay, thank you. So, um, yeah, I've uh, agreed to do a, a very short four or five minute demo of our DocuAir test installation. Um, obviously, for GDPR reasons, I, I can't show you a production system, um, but Rico have actually helped us create a test copy of DocuAir that we use for development and testing um, purposes within our organisation. Um, for me, DocuAir has kind of three um, three main components. Um, I mean, firstly, you can see I'm just using a web browser to access DocuAir, um, which effectively means it can be accessed from anywhere. Um, we've got it configured so you can log in with our um, staff Active Directory credentials as well. So we, we don't need uh, our staff to maintain different usernames and passwords and things like that. Um, and that makes administering the system a lot easier for us. Um, but yeah, three, three key areas within DocuAir. Um, so firstly, you have what are called document in trays. Um, and this is really the landing pad for all of your documents coming into the system. Um, and these can come from anywhere. These can ca uh, come from MFPs and scanners that you might have in the office. Um, you're able to simply import any type of document directly from your desktop, whether it be a PDF, Excel, Word, text file, HTML file. Um, DocuAir can handle all of those different file types. Um, and at this point, this landing area, You've got a lot of documents there, um, but they've got no metadata attached. Um, but this is the starting point for getting documents into the system. Um, the second um, part of DocuAir is the search function. So DocuAir allows you to build customized cabinets with the metadata that you need to capture to uh, allow that document to be retrievable. Um, if I go back to the document trays, if I choose to index this document into a cabinet, you can see here we've got some cabinets called policies, so insurance policies for us, um, a sales department cabinet, um, and in our production system, we, we have a number of finance cabinets for processing things like invoices as well. Um, and if I click on one of these storage dialogues, you can see here the users being asked to capture um, any number of metadata information so somebody else can locate that document later particularly for us policy reference and the, the customer name are obviously going to be very, very important for us um, obviously it'd be a little bit cumbersome um, for a member of staff to have to type out all of these fields uh, you know day in day out that take a long long time um, but DocuAir does come with a number of um, custom integrations one of them we use um, is, a, is a screen scraper. It's called Smart Index. Um, and if I click on Smart Index here, you, you saw it, it basically read a small screen scrape um, from one of our back office CRM applications. And it's captured that, um, that test um, data there. So the policy reference, client name, et cetera. And it's automatically filled in all the fields um, that we need to, to be filled in. Um, for me, the last thing I would need to do here is then just set what type of document this is. Um, obviously, the system can't really tell uh, what what document. This might be for a piece of customer post. It might be a, a request to renew an insurance policy. It might be a request to cancel a policy, for for example. Um, and I'm just I'm going to mark that one as an insurance claims information document, just to give an example. So with our documents now nicely stored that makes it very, very easy for anybody within the business immediately to look up that document. I'm just gonna use this example customer reference number. Um, and if I paste that in there, it's all, it's, I mean, it's already um, cleverly given me like a suggestion of the policy number it thinks I'm after. So it's, it's quite intuitive that way. It, the fields make suggestions on um, search terms. Um, and if I search that, you can see almost instantly I've now got all of the documents associated with that um, customer number, um, including the one that I just stored a moment ago. Um, if I double click on that, then I can see um, that document on the right hand side. And again, this is all being done in a web browser. There's no having to open Word or any other kind of application. You could be accessing this on an iPad, for example, and you'd be seeing the exact same thing. Um, and there's quite a quite a number of things I can do with that document. Um, I can download it, print it, email it. Um, there's quite a quite a nice number of viewer tools in here. So if that text is a bit hard to read, I might decide to sort of zoom in on an area, look at the document. Um, you can rotate it. Uh, it's quite a nice feature in here as well that you can annotate documents and put notes on them, um, which is quite handy as well. So you might want to annotate a document 
and then when somebody else views it they'll actually see that note attached to that document as an overlay um, but the real power for DocuAir for us um, and the real decider on, on purchasing the product really was uh, what's called the workflow engine so as an insurance business we've got all sorts of uh, insurance documentation coming into this system that needs storing we've got customer documents um, insurance schedules etc that are being produced by our back office other applications line of business applications we've got customer posts coming in um, we still even have a fax machine believe it or not because uh, it's some some very old school insurance brokers still like their fax machines um, we have emails coming in from customers you can imagine we, we get hundreds a day um, and a lot of that documentation post and email inquiries it needs something to be done on it so uh, again taking the example of renewing an insurance policy um, the workflow engine gives you the ability to start a workflow and create a list of tasks to be done based on that document um, so the document that I've just stored there a moment ago um, with claims information that has now appeared under the tasks tab um, it's to assign to assign to me and anybody else within my team as well not just to me personally but uh, um, take the example from working in a customer service team that task will now be assigned to that customer service team um, and they can actually click into here view that document I'm using a test document right now um, but to take the example this might be a piece of post where somebody's written in and says I, I wish to renew my property insurance policy with you um, and we've now got a list of work to go through and we've designed that workflow with three functions here we can assign that an email up to somebody else to look at we can change the document type or most importantly um, somebody in the customer service team would go back onto our back office system process that insurance renewal and then they'd actually mark that complete. Um, the big benefits of that for us is all of our customer service teams um, and our management team have got one pane of glass to see all of our inquiries that are coming in from across the business. And it doesn't matter whether that's from email or from post, um, like I say, a fax machine or, or wherever that um, request has come from, it's all being fed into a number of workflows. Um, it, very briefly, if I if I look on our production system here, um, you can see when we we hand each one of these bars has got a little green mark next to it and a number that gives you an idea of the volume of, of inquiries that we're handling through DocuAir. Um, and because DocuAir is being run in the cloud, it's very very fast. Um, you know, we're able to handle very very large doc, um, volumes of documents that need to be processed for our customers. Um, and we're also actually able to to get reports out of this as well um, that actually show us you know uh, if, a, if a team's struggling maybe it's understaffed maybe some of the um, some of the numbers here are getting a bit high then a manager can take action if we're, we're, we're currently unable to process all those inquiries into a particular team we've got very quick visibility here as to exactly what's happening in every department um, the very final part I wanted to touch on, it's been key for, for our business. Um, I'm showing you here the DocuAir interface itself and um, the fact that I can store documents from my desktop and I can scan in post, etc. cetera. Um, but DocuAir comes with a very extensive um, built-in um, .NET API. So we actually have a lot of our, um, broker, plat our broker platforms that we have are actually sending electronic documents directly into DocuAir using those APIs. Um, so our um, broker inquiry forms, for example, they're, they're on our portal, they're branded as us. Um, and if that broker submits a, a request to change a policy, it's actually being electronically fed into DocuAir and into those workflows um, behind the scenes. So we're not having to um, give our brokers a login to DocuAir, but they can actually use our branded portal um, to submit inquiries and that gets fed into the to the back office system that the that the staff are using um so yeah in summary um we we, we found docuair very very beneficial it, it really was a game changer for us um in terms of the software that i run in this business i mean we run a number of um, different vendor softwares um but this can it's probably one of our most important systems. Um, we really, really couldn't live without it. And it really did pay its dividends when COVID hit because it's a web browser system. Um, when people began working from home, um, we were able to give them access to that customer information almost instantly. So there's a, a small demo there, hopefully. Hopefully that covers a, a few nice points of it. Excellent, thank you so much. 
Thank you so much, Andrew. Um, I think that what well, that shows really effectively is sort of a number of key areas that how easily DocuWare can handle information from any source, whether it's emails, as Andrew mentioned, some people still use faxes, which is quite shocking, but it does. It can run <laughs> scanners for you. There's all sorts of other ways we can input in there. And we, there's lots of areas we haven't shown you today, but it's really to give you a nice flavor of how this can be used in the real world. And that was really effective. Thank you very much, Andrew. Rico.